My name's Julie Hurley and I'm the Head of Strategic Planning at South Yorkshire PTE. The reason I'm here today is to talk to you about a new exciting scheme called Bus Rapid Transit that we've been developing with our colleagues in Sheffield City Council and Rotherham Borough Council. BRT is a transport scheme that links Sheffield and Rotherham together through Meadow Hall and the Lower Don Valley. In order to get this project off the ground, we require funding and we're currently putting together a bid for around £40 million to Department for Transport. And if successful, this will bring inward investment into our region. In the next few minutes, you'll see a short digibrief, which I hope you'll find enjoyable and interesting. What I'd really like are your views from this, and that will help us take this scheme forward. Thank you very much. This film describes proposals for BRT North, a new scheme designed to improve transport links between Rotherham, Meadowhall and Sheffield. BRT stands for Bus Rapid Transit and would introduce an enhanced public transport corridor with improvements to the road network, providing better access to jobs, housing, health, education and leisure. The proposals for BRT North follow the proposals for BRT South, which the public were consulted on in 2008. Together, these schemes would provide options for an improved and more reliable journey between Rotherham and Sheffield. This map shows the northern route running via Meadowhall and Attercliffe, and the southern running via Waverley and using the parkway. This film will focus specifically on the BRT North proposals. BRT buses would provide a limited stop service and include a host of features to enhance journeys for passengers. The buses would run with the latest, most environmentally friendly engines and be clearly designed to be a BRT bus, as compared to the usual bus service. There would also be more ways to pay for tickets in advance to help improve boarding times. The interior of the bus would include features such as more comfortable seating, with recorded next stop and message announcements and information displays. This project is being developed by the councils in Rotherham and Sheffield and the South Yorkshire Passenger Transport Executive. Although the project is still in its early stages, the proposals in this film are designed to show the concept of how BRT North might work. Public consultation and further work will help to decide the final proposals and stopping points for BRT buses. If funding is confirmed, the scheme would be built between 2013 and 2015. BRT North would run between the two urban centres through Attercliffe and Meadowhall in Sheffield and Templeborough in Rotherham. The route would consist of a series of junction improvements and bus priorities reducing delays and improving reliability for bus passengers. In turn, this would also improve conditions for general traffic. It would also provide a limited stop bus service designed to deliver a quicker journey between the districts. The scheme would also include the creation of a new route which would avoid the M1 junctions by travelling beneath the Tinsley Viaduct. Running through the heart of the Lower Don Valley, BRT would benefit a number of key projects which will help improve the local economy, including the Rotherham Renaissance Town Centre Master Plan, Sheffield City Centre Master Plan, the Lower Don Valley Master Plan and the River Don District Development. BRT would also improve access to current developments such as Atlas Court, Meadow Hall, Vantage Park and Magna 34. BRT North would run between Rotherham and Sheffield bus interchanges. We begin at Rotherham Town Centre. From the bus interchange, the route would run along Corporation Street and Westgate and through the heart of the town. We can see here how BRT would pass through the heart of the Rotherham Renaissance Master Plan area, which focuses on the regeneration of distinct quarters within the town centre. It would run through the commercial and business quarters and close to existing and future developments, such as the former guest and crime sites. Stopping here on Westgate, BRT would provide an enhanced link to the heart of Rotherham Town Centre. This stop would also be within half a mile of 6,000 potential jobs.
The junction where Westgate meets Canclo Road and Sheffield Road is where the BRT North and South routes diverge, with BRT North heading out of town along Sheffield Road. It's likely that this junction would be signalised to give priority to bus services on the different routes. The operation of the junction of Old Sheffield Road and Sheffield Road will also be reviewed to decide if any improvements can be made to help provide quicker access for buses in and out of the town centre. The route would then follow Sheffield Road, across Ickles Roundabout and towards Templeborough. At this point you can see that across the road there would be a new bus lane from the railway bridge up to Bradmarsh Way roundabout. Continuing away from Rotherham there would be a bus lane running up to Bessemer Way to give buses priority. BRT North would then follow Sheffield Road through Templeborough towards Meadowhall with possible stops at Grange Lane and Lock Lane. Templeborough is currently home to one of the region's principal attractions, the Magna Centre. Several development projects are planned for the near future, including the Riverside Flood Defence Scheme, while Vantage Park and Magna 34 are new business parks currently being developed. Magna 34 is being built on the site of the old Chorus Steelworks and will incorporate new business and industrial sites. A stop at Grange Lane would improve access to the surrounding area. BRT could also stop at Lock Lane. The shaded areas show other proposed development areas and existing employment zones within half a mile of the BRT stops. This new section represents a major part of the scheme. It would provide alternative access to the road network around Meadow Hall by alleviating pressure on M1 Junction 34 South. The new section would begin at Lock Lane and be a route for all traffic with the inclusion of bus priority measures and possibly dedicated bus lanes. This route would bridge the River Don and the railway line before crossing beneath the M1 Tinsley Viaduct and connecting with Meadow Hall Way. The new route would reduce running times as well as greatly improving the reliability of the BRT services operating between Rotherham and Sheffield. It would also improve conditions for all traffic in the area, particularly to the new development sites. This is also where BRT North borders the Lower Don Valley. The Lower Don Valley Master Plan sets out a long-term strategy for possible housing and commercial developments, which will guide regeneration in the area over the next 20 years. A key part of the Lower Don Valley Master Plan is the River Don District, as seen here. This is a large-scale development with outline planning approval that would occupy sites next to Meadow Hall. The new route would provide an alternative access to this area, removing traffic from the congested motorway junctions. BRT rejoins the existing network at Meadow Hall Way. It then continues round to Vulcan Road. There would be a new bus lane outside the existing highway going towards Meadowhall, so buses could bypass congestion at this junction. Priority signals at the end of the lane will give buses priority when merging with general traffic. This would again improve traffic flow in the area, which is due to benefit from significant developments in the future. BRT would then continue towards Sheffield along Attercliffe Common Road, stopping to serve Carbrook and Meadowhall Retail Park.
a new section of bus lane towards Sheffield City Centre on Attercliffe Common Road between Coleridge Road and Clay Street would then enable the buses to travel uninterrupted towards Attercliffe Centre. This additional lane would be made by remarking the existing lane arrangement with possibly some minor widening to the road. New signals adjacent to Clay Street would give priority to buses entering Attercliffe. The introduction of detection technology to the traffic signals through the centre of Attercliffe will allow buses to travel with priority through this congested area. Improving the signals in this way will help reduce journey times for buses without removing any highway space for other vehicles. Stops are shown here at Attercliffe North and Attercliffe South. Once again, shaded areas show other proposed development areas and existing employment zones within half a mile of where BRT would stop. BRT would then use the existing bus lane going away from Sheffield on Attercliffe Road between Staniforth Road and Stevenson Road. New bus priority signals would also be introduced at the junctions to allow buses to get ahead of queuing traffic. New sections of bus lanes would be introduced in both directions on Attercliffe Road between Stevenson Road and Princess Street. The additional lanes would again be made by remarking the existing lane arrangement, possibly with some minor widening to the road. BRT would then use the existing bus lanes between Princess Street and the Wicker, stopping at the Wicker before joining the Sheffield City Centre network. And Sheffield through BRT North would provide a high quality and reliable transport option for the growing number of journeys made between these two key areas. As we have seen, BRT will also provide essential access to new development sites along the route, which are an important part of the future for Sheffield and Rotherham. The scheme has the potential to provide a sustainable transport solution that will support economic growth in years to come.